G'day, I'm Ryuki Sandev and today I will show you how to quickly take a basic cube with a texture wrap from Blender into Unity. This is part one of a multi-part series that will deal with bringing in basic shapes from Blender into Unity with textures. Uh, the series is aimed at the beginner level, although to know your way around Unity a little might be an advantage. Uh, this first video will make a basic Minecraft block with a texture using Blender. We'll create it first by creating the basic mesh and the wrap guide in Blender, and then we'll finish the texture wrap with a graphical editor such as Photoshop or GIMP or something like that. And then finally we'll import it all into Unity to create the block. We will also cover the directions of the textures, such as top, bottom and sides. Uh, there's going to be blocks like, a, say, a Minecraft chest, which definitely have a front and a top and a bottom. So you're going to need to know that. So let's get started. All right, so we're in Unity. We want to create a Minecraft cube or something like that with a texture. How hard can it be, right? Uh, what are we doing? We're going 3D object cube. Easy. Create material. Cool, cool. And then we grab one of these all familiar T-shaped wraps that should wrap around it. And we'll apply that to the material. And then slap the material on the cube. And no. Okay. So in Unity, you can actually get that wrap to wrap around a cube. But you've got to code it, script it. Um, but let's be honest here. Uh, you're not always going to be using cubes in Unity. You're going to be creating all sorts of props, uh, fences, people, tools, all sorts of crazy stuff. So you're not going to be staying in Unity doing this. Unity does not have a 3D editor, so you're going to end up doing this in Blender or Maya or some other kind of 3D editing program. So I figured that's the best place to start. So with that said, let's delete all these debris and make a start. Okay, so to get the ball rolling, we're going to open up Blender. When you open up Blender, you should get a splash screen and you can click General and it will automatically give you a cube that we are going to use for this tutorial. Uh, there is an extra step if you did not get this cube or you didn't get the splash screen and you've got a blank canvas, you can actually add the cube. Um, the only thing that's going to be missing is a material. You can see this is built by default and if you drop this cube stuff down, you've got a material. If you add a cube manually mesh cube it doesn't give it a material so you have to add one manually so we just drop down here and click on new and uh, we can give it a name i don't know layer layer one and then we're good to go so now you're back at the same position as if you did have the splash screen and you've got a material so at this point you can click on uv editing and as you can see the cube automatically has a wrap. All of Blender's primitive shapes come with their own built-in wraps, which is very convenient and perfect for this tutorial. If you were to alter this cube in any way um, extravagant, then the wrap wouldn't follow it and you would have to re-wrap it. If you did simple things, like if I was to bevel this a little, you can see on the left side that it actually changes the wrap with the cube. But um, generally you would have to re-wrap it when you do some crazy stuff. So we we're not covering that in this video anyway. We're just going to use the basic cube. So at this point, you can click UV, export UV layout, and put it somewhere, obviously, where you're going to remember it. Um, the only thing you need to remember here is the size. So we are going to make a Minecraft cube, and I have some textures here. So these particular textures here, I was thinking to make a diamond. This texture here is 16 pixels wide by 16 pixels high. It's from vanilla Minecraft. If you don't have Minecraft installed, I will leave a link in the description where you can find these files and download them. Um, but this is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. So the size here, if you look at the wrap, you've got four faces down. So each of those faces is gonna be 16 by 16. So the height is 64, obviously it's 16 times four. And then across you've got 16 times three plus two halves. So it's also 64. So the size of this image, it's going to be 64 by 64 and let's call this cube 64. 
Okay, now I'm going to actually export a couple more layouts for different sizes because I've got lots of different size textures and I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. So I'm going to do one that's 256 by 256 and that's for a higher resolution texture face that is actually 64 by 64 pixels. So that times 4 is 256. And uh, well, I guess we'll call this one 256. And I'm going to do one more. And it's going to be 1024 by 1024. And that's for another image uh, that is, oops, it's supposed to be four, another image that is 256 pixels by 256 pixels. So that's even bigger and much higher resolution. Uh, so we'll call this 1024. Export. Okay, so I've got three cube map guides. The only other thing you need to do in Blender now is just go up to File, Export, FBX. That is to export this mesh right here for Unity. And we might as well put it in the same place as we have the images and we'll call it uh, Cube Mesh, I suppose. And we're just exporting the mesh right here. That's it, nothing else. And Export, FBX. That's pretty much all we need Blender for for this video, so we can close Blender completely. And if I open up our files here, so you should definitely have the FBX, you're going to need that. And then whichever guides you chose to create, I just created three because I have different resolution textures, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. But this one here is one that you should have because that's the one that's going to use the Minecraft texture. So at this point, we can start editing those guides and making the actual wraps for the cube. All right, so let's uh, edit our guides and make our texture wrap. So we're going to open up Cube 64. Um, I'm using Photoshop. Uh, you can use whatever graphical editor you like. I would suggest using one that can handle layers will make your job a lot easier. So let's open this guy up. So these squares are the faces of the cube. There's six of them, six sides of the cube. And these boxes should be perfectly sized for those 16 by 16 texture that we were talking about. So we're grabbing here this diamond PNG and drag them in there. And then drag them into one of these boxes and you'll see that if you've got the size right, it'll fit perfectly. And you just want to be careful you don't have it overlap. Uh, otherwise it will overlap on the cube and it won't look great at all and this for some reason it's not snapping right there we go that's snap there so we'll leave from there and I'm going to copy that layer five times and just put each one in its box so this particular cube is just going to have the same texture on every single side so it's easy uh, the next cube I'll make will have different sides and a top and a bottom so you can see how that works and there we go so there's all six sides for our diamond cube now we just need to go export. Uh, I always export everything as a PNG. Uh, it's got a transparent layer. Uh, can't go wrong. And we'll just call this diamond ticks, I guess. And save. All right. Now if we look in here, we should have everything we need now to make our Minecraft block in Unity. We've got our cube mesh FBX, which already contains a material. And then we have the texture to apply to the material to make the cube. So the next step is to open up Unity and create the cube. All right, so now we're back inside Unity and we can start building our block. So the first thing to do is drag your FBX file into Unity project. It will automatically import and as you can see, it's already got the material attached to it and it's got the cube mesh. And we also want the texture that we created. So drag that in too. First thing to do is go into the actual cube mesh itself and extract the material. And just select the default folder, which is your assets folder. So as you can see now, the material has been ripped out of here and it's a separate entity. Uh, you can rename it if you want to. I'm going to rename this to diamond. It's our material, which is already attached to this cube right here. And if we click on the material, we can grab this texture up here and let go. And now it's applying it to the box. And if 
we click on the cube mesh, you can see that the material is now on the mesh. Now it's fuzzy, we'll fix that in a minute. <clears throat> Let's drag it on to our scene. Now to fix the fuzziness, click on the texture itself. Uh, you can disable MIPS. Change bilinear to point no filter. Change normal quality to none for compression. And that should do it and apply. And there you can see that the cube has sharpened. Um, and now let me just add a rigid body to this. So the cube's done basically. I'm just going to make it spin. And play. And there is our cube. Minecraft block. So the next step, so that's just creating the basic cube and uh, all the faces on this cube are all the same texture, no difference. But what if you wanted to create something that had a top and a bottom and sides like a chest or a dice cube or something like that, then you would need to know what the front and the back and the sides are relative in your wrap. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so I've created a, um, a guide here which I'm going to uh, publish to GitHub. I will leave a link also in the description where you can download this guide. Um, I created this guide for myself because I was downloading guides from the internet and found that a lot of them didn't work and they were different. And I uh, quickly figured out that it's because they've either come from different 3D editors and or uh, the objects themselves have been rotated before they were exported. You know, there's lots of reasons why these particular layouts would change. But if you follow this tutorial to the letter, then this particular guide will be correct. Um, and that will be available on GitHub. So... As you can see, there's a top and there's a bottom and there's the front side, left side, back side and right side. These arrows are basically pointing forwards or upwards. So the top here, this arrow here is pointing forwards and the front side here is pointing upwards. So these two arrows basically are pointing towards each other. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. We'll make something else. In fact, let's do that right now. Uh, let's make... So I've got a few things here that have tops and bottoms and sides. I could do a TNT. I could do the barrel. I could actually do a dice. Um, I think we'll stick with Minecraft. So I'm going to do, let's do the barrel because the barrel, this, these PNGs here are bigger. Um, these guys down here are 16 by 16. These ones, I think, uh, let me just see. Yeah, these ones are 64 by 64. So if I use the template here, uh, 256, they will fit perfectly into those boxes. So if I open this guy up, so this is the higher res one, and then get those other textures. Um, that is the bigger ones. I don't know if these are going to drag in. The problem, no, it's going to downsize them. Okay, I figured that might happen. So I'm going to have to import these by opening them up and uh, copying the layers across. Um, so bear with me for a second while I do that. Okay, so I've just uh, imported these in a slightly different way. So we've got our three pieces. So if we get our guide, let me get our guide here. So using this guide, we should know where to place these textures. Try and make this all fit on the screen. Okay. So um, this guy here is the, is a side. So let's plonk him in one of the sides. Um, so this particular barrel doesn't need uh, a front and a back side. It just needs a side. So that's nice and easy. So we can just plop him in there and make sure he's not overlooking. I think that's about right there. And then this is the top. Now, as you can see with this guy here, he's actually got this little piece here, and I think that's supposed to face forwards. And if you see over here, the top forwards is this way. So this guy here needs to be rotated. So let's go transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And now he's facing the right way. So he's facing forwards. And this is the bottom. So we'll plop him up there. 
And then the rest of them are just sides. So we can get this guy here and copy that layer and just plop the rest of the sides in. Yep, there. All a little bit off. Let's just get that one in place. And then this guy here, zero to two. I don't think so. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky. Uh, normally Photoshop does a really good job at snapping these in, but it's not doing a very good job today, unfortunately. That'll do. Okay, so that should be right. So we've got the bottom, we've got the top facing forwards the right way, and then we've got the three sides and the fourth side right there. So that should do it. And if we export this as a PNG, and we'll call this a barrel. Okay, minimize that and go back into our editor and we can drag that barrel in, the image, this guy here, boom. Okay, now, <clears throat> if we get that material and just drag the barrel onto it, there it is, and we of course have to go and edit that texture again and turn maps off. Change bilinear to point, change normal quality to none, and apply just to sharpen it up. And we'll reset this guy back to the original position it was in. And there it is. So you've got your top, your bottom, and your sides. So if you follow that guide, that I set up here, which I will publish on GitHub, uh, you shouldn't go wrong. Um, I actually put that wrap on another file. Let me just find it real quick. Um, cube wrap test. Yeah. So I've had, I actually applied that wrap to a cube just to show you how it works. Just to test it myself, basically, to remove all doubt that I'd got it right. So that's the wrap on a cube. Um, and I actually put a script in here so that if I push the forward or back arrow key, it goes forward and back. And if I push the right and left arrow key, it goes left and right. So when I play this, I can make totally sure that I actually have the wrap around the right way. So that's pushing the forward key, that's pushing the back key, that's the left key and right key. So it's working. And if I grab this and rotate it, you can see we've got the right, the front, and they're all facing upwards. And then we've got bottom which is facing forwards so yeah it's working nicely so just use that guide if you're needing to use anything that requires a top and a bottom and if you need to know the front from the back and uh, you shouldn't go wrong uh, one more thing that I forgot to add uh, was that once you've made this cube mesh if you were to make if you were to make say 10 minecraft blocks you want to make a diamond block an iron block a whole bunch of blocks you wouldn't need to keep going into blender to create this cube you can just stick with that one mesh and you just keep making new materials and new textures for them and then create prefabs. So we've got a cube mesh up here and that is currently using the barrels texture. So if I was to, so this was actually the diamond. So I'm going to put the diamond back on it, change it back to what it should have been. Now, if I wanted to use the barrel, uh, rather than importing another cube mesh, um, you can just copy that material and paste it and we can make it and we can just call it barrel and then click on that barrel material and put the barrel texture on it then the cube mesh up here we can just copy it and paste it and call it barrel so currently it's still got the diamond texture on it let me just move that so you can see it uh, we would just get this guy here and you can see the element the material uh, we just drop that down and choose the barrel so you've basically got two objects now using the same mesh easy so yeah if you're making the same exact shapes and sizes of things then you don't need to keep creating them in, in uh, blender you just uh, basically just keep creating new materials and add new textures to them and you can make an you can make an entire Minecraft set out of this. So yeah, I just thought I'd add that in. Uh, I forgot to mention that before. So at this point, um, this pretty much ends the tutorial for this section, this part. Um, the next installment, the next video part two is going to be on multiple layers. Um, and by multiple layers, I mean, 
So if you were to get this cube right here, so this is just one texture, one image on this face. In Blender, we could split this up so I could actually dissect this cube um, into pieces and then I could actually select some of these colors, let's say the blue part, and insert them into a different layer and have the cube using two, two materials. And then when I export it, it actually has two materials, two layers, and I can put different textures on either of those layers. And in Unity, I could say I had selected the second, the deeper layer, the blue ones, uh, I could give them a different color. I could make them glow. I could do all sorts of crazy cool things. So that's going to be the next video is creating multiple layers. Uh, so we're still going to be dealing with these cubes and things. So if you're following the series, don't delete these files. Um, you're probably still going to need them. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.